Well, hello there. Now, this isn't really a big thing about Philip Schofield. I've already done two or three, but everybody, I mean everybody is on about him at the moment. And this morning, and Holly Willoughby, and also Martin Frizzell. They're all being brought into it now. It makes you wonder what's been going on behind the scenes of that programme over the last few years and who's to blame for many of its woes at the moment. I think all three may be culpable one way or another. But I just want to alert some uh, people, the, the few that might watch this, that have been following me. Um, alerted to somebody that I've just watched. I've just watched something on YouTube and I thought it was fascinating. This person, for my money, had the biggest insight into the show and how it works and the people behind the scenes there and the people front of camera and I think the things she said were all said from a genuine place it wasn't I don't think they were said with any amount of hatred or bad feeling like uh, our good friend Dan Wooten I mean Dan overnight said I think Kelvin McKenzie from The Sun Dan's mentioning these eight people again, these well-known people that I've told him about the toxicity, is that the word? Behind the scenes there. Mr. McKenzie, who I think was once editor of The Sun, may still be. Uh, I don't think he is, but may still be. Has heard lots of things as well. None of them divulged any sources or any of the rumours. None of them did. I mean, McKenzie's people were happy to divulge anything uh, for years and years and years in The Sun, wasn't they? I mean, they still are now, but he didn't want to say anything on TV. So that was sort of dead in the water. Old Eamon's been rearing his ugly head again. As I said yesterday, Eamon, you know, is he as nice as everybody's saying? He's always hated Schofield. He's always been having a pop. More so now since he's at the inferior GB News. He got rid of Anthea Turner. I'm not saying she was particularly good, but he got rid. It was a case of she goes or I go. Um, I believe overnight, out of the blue, he's been texting, is it Fern Britain? Uh, the young lady that was originally on the gig with uh, Schofield, his partner in crime before old Holly stepped into her shoes. So they're texting one another and aspersions are being cast as to how she feels about Mr Schofield. Rylan, he's texting things today and people are saying he's sending cryptic texts to say the person in the media that he's fallen out with is more than likely going to be Philip Schofield because let's face it, Philip Schofield's fallen out with everybody else. I'd have some sympathy if it wasn't Rylan, but I've got absolutely no time for Rylan at all. Another job's worth that I'd absolutely no talent. Um, made his way by not being able to sing on X Factor. And now he's at the opening of an envelope. He's in everything. I know lots of you watching here will like him. Well, I'm sorry. I don't. I prefer talent, not people that I've got none. Um, but it's getting worse and worse and worse. But I've, I've seen this lady earlier. A lady's named Sonia Poulton. Sonia Poulton. It's a half hour thing she does on YouTube and it's concerning old Mr. Schofield, but she has some enlightening things to say about Holly and about old Mr. Is it Frizzell, the uh, producer there. And I found it to be fascinating. It had much more gravitas, much more depth than anything Dan Wooten's done or anybody else for that matter. And I think it's worth a watch. So if I was you, whoever you might be watching this, I would watch that. Um, it's a lot more polished than anything that I do. She's uh, a lot sharper, knows a lot more, obviously knows more than me because she's been in the media, but it's worth watching. So if I were you, I'd go and watch. Okay, that's it from me.